Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Gabe. Welcome to Life Mission Church. It is so good to be with you. And of course, I got to give a special shout out to our friends in Kansas City, Kansas, in Ottawa, Olathe, our friends in Hero Squad, and a special shout out to my friend Bill and Timothy. Hey, it is good to be with you guys today. And I hope that you're having a fantastic summer. But before I forget, anything or go any further I don't want to forget that's why I meant to say is coming up all fourth and fifth graders if you're a fourth and fifth graders you don't want to miss it it's our summer bash that's right summer bash is coming up June 25th Friday at our Olathe campus starting at 6 p.m. this is a time where we get to be wet and messy you want to make sure that you come here dressed up in a swimsuit you want to make sure that you bring a towel and hey, we are going to have some fun. We got water slide. We're going to be doing all kinds of fun things. And hey, even if it's raining that day, we'll still be having some fun. So go ahead and come by and make sure that you're here. So if you are in fourth or fifth grade, you don't want to miss our summer bash coming up Friday at our Olathe campus. Don't miss it. And if you did miss it, man, hopefully you don't miss it. But man, that would be a mistake to miss it. And the reason I say mistakes is that that's something I kind of want to talk to you about is how many of you have ever made a mistake? And when you made a mistake, how did that make you feel? Were you like, oh man, did I make a mistake? Or did you make a mistake and you're like, oh no, I had no idea I did that. There's lots of different kinds of things that might be called mistakes in different ways that maybe we go about them. Maybe we sometimes made a mistake because we kind of did it on purpose and we thought we can get away doing it this way, but it was just a mistake. Or honestly, we just did something this way, but then it was not the right way and well, it's a mistake. So what do you do when you make a mistake and how have you handled when you've ran into mistakes? And when you hear the word mistake, what's one of the first things that you think of when it comes to mistakes? Okay, so now I'm standing next to this thing. Does anybody know what this is? No, it's not an Xbox. And uh, no, it's not a TV. I don't... I don't know, that'd be a small TV. But what it is, it's a microwave. Now, why would I have a microwave that would be right here with us? Well, the reason is, and the reason I'm kind of talking about mistakes today, is that a microwave happens by mistake. There's so many different things out there that we have in this world because of somebody intended one thing and then something else happened. You know, the chocolate chip cookies actually came all together because someone wasn't intending to make chocolate chip cookies, but they ended up doing something else. But the same thing happened with a microwave. Get this, and I want to make sure I get it right, that there was an engineer who was doing some radar research, and he had a candy bar in his pocket. And as he was doing the research and he was doing this, he noticed that his candy bar started to melt. And so we kind of put two and two together and he said, wait a minute, huh, wonder what's going on. If that's melting, maybe there's something in that. So then, you know what he did? And I'm so glad he did. He got some corn, and he put corn inside of it, and guess what? It started popping. How many of you are thankful for popcorn that you can put in the microwave? I like the extra butter kind. Mm. And maybe you get some toffee, and you can put the special seasoning on it. Mm. I love all kinds of different popcorn. But isn't it amazing that someone who had an intention of doing something, they were going to do something else, were able to then have something come out of it. See, I think a lot of times in life, I don't know about you, but I've made a few mistakes, right? And we talked about some a little bit earlier. When we make mistakes, or maybe we intend to do one thing, but then something else happens from it. And when you do intend to do something, but yet something else happens from it, how do you feel? And what do you do about it? Do you sit there and say, well, I made a mistake and I just don't want to do anything else about it? Or do you say, hmm, what, what did that lead to? So what is it that you do 
when you make a mistake or when you're with others that make a mistake? And then how do you find anything good or useful from that mistake that you've been a part of?